So with Mayhem 2.0 we have seen the added addition of new legendary weapons and no I do not mean weapons exclusive to the Revenge of the Cartels event which arrived at the same time. I mean weapons exclusive to bosses in at Mayhem 6 or above. Today I will guide you through each weapon and where you can get it. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So with Mayhem 2.0 we have seen the addition of 8 new legendary weapons and today we check out and go through them all and I will tell you guys where you can get them exclusively to drop. So first up we have the Monarch Assault Rifle. This new flared off AR drops in multiple variants with the elements of corrosive shock and radiation or no element at all. And this weapon is a lot like the sequel being a kind of shotgun type AR. Now this legendary is exclusive to Kilovolt upon Electricity and Promethea. And remember guys, it only drops on a Mayhem 6 or a Bob. Okay, so next up we have the multi-tap pistol. This Atlas pistol is a pretty unique one, with it having the ability to fire a tracker grenade, your projectiles will then home in on up to 5 targets for 15 seconds, and upon you reloading will fire a rocket at a targeted enemy, so sounds pretty cool. Now this pistol is exclusive to the Katagawa ball upon Skywire 27 on Promethea, so farm this dude on Mayhem 6 or above for a chance to get this to drop. Okay, so moving on and next up we have the Back Burner Launcher. This drops in either Incendiary Shock or Cryo and is a Vladoff weapon. And its party trick is Lob style orbs with singularity. It spawns non singularity Merv orbs and it consumes 3 ammo per shot. Now, this is a weapon which is exclusive to the Agonizer 9000 upon the Guts of Carnivora on Pandora. So, again, guys, farm here on a Mayhem 6 or above for a chance at this. Okay, so next up we have the Plague Bearer. This Torga launcher drops in either Cryo Shock or Corrosive, and its party trick is as follows large, slow moving orbs that spawn additional orbs and create singularities. Pretty cool. Now, this weapon is an exclusive drop to the Warden upon the Anvil on Eden 6. Mayhem 6 or above, people. Next up we have the Reflux Shotgun. This Hyperion weapon drops in that corrosive element only and it comes with a high weapon shield capacity where damage to the shield returns bullets to the mag. Now this weapon is an exclusive drop to Genpon Voracious Canopy upon Eden 6. Mayhem 6 or above people. Next up we have the Chaos and I believe that's pronounced. This Dial SMG drops offering any of the four elements besides Incendiary and fires sticky shots that explode on reload. The weapon is exclusive to Captain Trant who is located upon Athena's people, Mayhem 6 or above again. Next up we have the DNA. This one was hard to find information on but as far as I am aware it does shoot all those elements at the same time. Early days though people forgive me it seems as though this is a rare weapon and I couldn't find anybody with it. So yes as far as I am aware this shoots random elemental pairs of projectiles so it sounds pretty cool. Now this Maliban weapon is an exclusive drop to General Trant who is located upon Desolation's Edge upon Necro Tavio. And lastly guys we have the Sandhawk. 
This dull sniper rifle comes with any available element and it fires a line of 9 projectiles, so it sounds pretty unique. This is a weapon which is exclusive to the Katagawa Jr. upon Atlas HQ upon Promethea people. Again, Mayhem 6 or above. And those are the weapons people, those are the 8 new legendaries exclusive to Mayhem 6 or above. And this is where you can obtain them. Drop rates on the my experience do seem pretty low, but I wish you better luck than what I am having. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and you want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.